So Brandon Rios defeats Diego Chavez via disqualification. It's always disappointing when fights end by disqualification, obviously, for the fans. Especially in this case, because it was a pretty good fight. There was some nice exchanges. The fight was relatively close, although there was point deductions. Chavez had two points deducted before, this, before the disqualification in the previous rounds. And Brandon Rios had one point deducted. I think without the point deductions, I would have had Chavez in a fairly, a fairly commanding lead going into the final round you know when the uh, before the fight was uh, ended by disqualification so if it was in any normal fight I would have had Chavez up by a few rounds but with the point deductions it was a close fight it was a very very close fight um, Chavez was doing good work on the inside and on the outside but Rios's constant pressure on the inside made it a little bit too hot for Chavez. Chavez really tried to bang it out with Rios in the first round and a half or two rounds. But after that, he realized Rios's chin is made from, I don't know what type of concrete, but it's extremely hard. And even though he was landing clean, hard shots, and Chavez can punch, he was landing clean, hard shots on Rios's chin. Rios weren't going, weren't going nowhere. So Chavez realized, okay, if I stay, if I stay in the pocket with this guy, I'm going to get tired before he does. So Chavez decided to use his legs and, and box and move and he was he was pulling off some nice cute little moves in there where he was making Rios miss and then he was catching him with a right hand and a left hook. Solid shots he was catching him with while he was moving. So it's not like he was throwing pity patty punches. He was landing solid shots when he was on the move. Uh, but it's just the point deductions and obviously the disqualification that ended up, you know, ruining what would have been a very interesting fight down the stretch. Was the holding excessive from Diego Chavez? Possibly, possibly, Bob. Did it war did it warrant point deductions? I would say yes. Did it warrant a disqualification? I, personally, I don't think so. I don't think so. I've seen much worse holding than that in Vladimir Klitschko fights, and he don't get disqualified. Okay, and, and Vladimir don't throw anywhere near that amount of punches like Chavez did. Obviously, Chavez is a much smaller guy, so he's gonna throw more shots, but Chavez was willing to engage and try and fight his opponent off far more than a Klitschko does and yet Klitschko never gets disqualified okay so I think that I think the disqualification was harsh but the point deductions fair enough and maybe he should have warned him a few more times before he took the first point uh, the HBO team seemed to think that that point deduction was a little premature the first time around but on top of that Diego Chavez don't speak a word of English so he wasn't even understanding the warnings anyway. That's that's one of the problems. They should have got a referee that speaks Spanish in there so Chavez would have understood the warnings. He didn't understood, understand what he was being told because the referee told him several times that he would disqualify him if he carried on holding. Uh, but he carried on holding. <laughs> so it is what it is. Um, I don't know, man. It's, it's disappointing. It was a good fight. Chavez showed some good skills. I would have had him ahead if it wasn't for the point deductions. Uh, uh, disappointing. Let me know what you felt about this fight. Drop your comments in the comment section below. Um, you know, one thing I will say though about Rios, this guy is not going to be able to talk before long. You know, a couple years time, this guy's brain is going to be pretty much porridge because you can't continuously take solid shots like that over and over again in, in fight after fight. And Rios did land his own nice shots on Chavez. But Chavez's shots were far more eye-catching and far more, um, they just seemed harder shots than the ones Rios, Rios was landing. They were snapping Rios' head sideways and really eye-catching shots, uppercuts and right hands and left hooks. Rios's shots were more, you know, didn't seem as hurtful at least, you know, the head shots anyway. So uh, yeah, Rios, man, he needs to somehow learn a defense, learn how to defend himself, man, or else he ain't going to be able to talk before long. Drop your comments below. This is Hatman. I'm out.